Hello everyone. I'm sure by now you all know that Cleona launched these new shades during the holidays as a mystery bundle and then they restocked them as a permanent shades. I got these during that relaunch and they have this new embossing. How are you feeling about it? Personally, I prefer the old look because it was more sleek, but I can see how the shifts show better with this one and they're easier to handle because the corners of my old ones always got busted because they were so fragile. So ultimately, I knew the change was for the better. Anyways, back to the shadows. Originally, they were just 11, but I got 12 because there was a gift with purchase, so I took advantage of it. I also got the whole bundle because it was slightly cheaper, and I realized with Cleona in the long run, I ended up getting nearly all of their bundles. So this time I thought, eh, I'll just get it all from the get-go. The formulas here are glitter multi-chromes, electric multi-chromes, dual chromes. I mean, I think you get it by now, there's lots of formulas, so let's just get started with the swatches. Okay, so first this is Lightfest. It's the only iridescent in this bundle, described to have a translucent white base that shifts bright pink, red, orange, and yellow. On the finger, I could say that Cleona's description is quite accurate. They're pretty good at describing their own colors. But I would say the base is not white. It has like a very slight grayish cast, at least on my skin. Although I do have like a warm undertone, I think. So maybe that's the skin clashing with the white. When it comes to the colors, I don't see much of a red, but I do see the bright pink, the orange, and the yellow. It's very shifty which is expected from Cleona's stained glass collection. This is a smaller particle size, it feels very smooth and looks very uniform when it comes to the sparkle. Next, let's talk about Duke. It's a cool mid-tone green base with medium-large glitter particles that shift coral, peach, chartreuse and lime. I can see on the finger and on the hand swatch that the particle is indeed larger than the last one. You can see the shifts quite easily from coral to peach to chartreuse ending up in a lime color right at the harsh angle. The mint base makes these colors pop even more than they would. It's a very pretty shade, one of my favorites from this bundle, I would say. And it does remind me a lot of Lightfest, so I'll compare them later. But for now, let's talk about Orchard. It's described as a rich forest green base that shifts bright coral, orange, yellow, and lime. If that description sounded familiar, it's because the shifts are the exact same from Duke. But the particle size in this one is smaller, so it's a smoother shade, and the base on this one is much deeper than the one in Duke. But yeah, again, this is a very shifty shade, it's very smooth, and I love how the darkness and the color contrast against such pastel shades on the top. Up next, it's gonna be Goblet. It's described to have a coral base that shifts bright gold, lime, and aqua. Let me know if these macro shots help anyone at all because I just put them here because they're fun and pretty. But anyways, this shade is very smooth to the touch. You can see how reflective it is and obviously shifty. The particle size is small and uniform, so you can see it doesn't really sparkle, but it shifts quite a lot. These are exactly the type of colors that I like. Just a gold to an aqua ending up on the blue. The base on this one is so curious to me because sometimes I think it's a bit pinkier. But then if I put my hand down, you could see that it's like a peachier tone rather than pink. Now this is Line of Queens. It's described to have a purple base that shifts bright peach, yellow, lime and aqua. This description is spot on to what I see on the pen right now. It's exactly those shifts. Now on the finger swatch you can see it's a smoother shade with a smaller particle size. Not that sparkly but very shifty as always. And I swear I was looking for a shade like this, like just the purple with the peach shift because I have a nail polish just like this and I love it. And now I have a shadow with this color. Up next it's Rosarium. It has a cool brown base that shifts red, orange, and gold. I think you can already tell this is the smoother formula, because it shifts so much, but doesn't sparkle that much. This kind of reminds me from their colors from the Deeper Edition Multichromes, 
because it's kind of an intense shift but it has a warm base which is supposed to work like iridescence but for darker skin you can see this base it's not that dark and the shifts contrast quite beautifully on this base because of it i don't have saffron but it reminds me of it up next this is dynasty it's described to have a rich warm indigo base that ships violet red peach and yellow with blue sparkles it has a lot of tiny tiny particles in it which you can see very easily on the macros, but not so much when it's on the hand swatch. Here the shifts that I can see the most are that pinky violet going to a peach and to a very slight aqua at the very harsh angle. But that's just the yellow mixing in with the indigo base. And I think the blue sparkles are the reason that I see a cool toned pink. It's a cool shade. And now this is sculpture. It has a warm gray base that shifts pink, pewter, lime, and emerald. I love all of these tones together because they're so gloomy. They give me like a gloomy roses vibe or something. It has a smaller particle size, so it's very smooth, reflective, and especially shifty. This is so pretty. This to me is like the perfect winter going to spring tone. They're such good colors and it has a lot of reflectivity so it reminds me a lot of a metallic. You can see the base is quite dark in comparison to the shifts. This makes it a very dimensional shade. It's so pretty. Up next, this is Mer. It's described to have a sheer acidic chartreuse base that shifts bright cobalt slash ultraviolet. It says this shadow is more accurately described as a duochrome but due to the community's feedback, it's going to join the stained glass collection as a special shade. And I saw how this played out. It was honestly one of the most interesting round pans from them. But I'm glad to have it in a square pan, just because. It's not so often that you see an actual ultraviolet that it's close to an iridescent. It's supposed to have a base, but I can barely see it in my skin. That could be just my warm undertone eating away the chartreuse. I can see someone with paler skin would notice that chartreuse base. Again, on me, this looks exactly like an iridescent, which makes me like it a lot more. Next, this is Sterling. It's described to have a teal base that shifts warm and cool silver to turquoise. And yeah, I would describe this shade as a very blue silver. It's so pretty. You can see, despite it being so subtle, you can tell there's a shift in there. It's a very smooth shade, I would call this a metallic actually. It's not so often that Cleona comes up with metallics, so this is quite interesting for them. And I love this, it doesn't have a strong base, and yet it gives that dimensional look. Next, this is Bolt which is described as a semi-opaque neutral brown base with small glitter particles that shift emerald, icy, purple, pink, and red. I love how the base of this one contrasts with the cool shifts. It's so freaking pretty. The particle size in this one is also a bit larger than the other shades. Up front, I would call this a bronzy base with a green shift that goes pink. It chips very very easily. The base is like a tan base on my skin tone. It's not that strong but not that sheer. It's such a sparkly and very beautiful shade but it does remind me a lot of carving so I'm going to compare those two later on. Lastly this is happy accident number two. This was given as a gift with purchase. This one doesn't actually have a description on the site, not one that I can find. So I would say this is an indigo base with a cool gold sparkle that shifts blue. And yes, I suck at this. This is the smooth formula, so it's the smaller particle size. And again, it's going to shift. It has a very strong base. This one does seem to have a lot of uh, tiny particles of other colors running through it. I don't know if you can see them. And it reminds me a lot of many other shades that I have, so I'm going to compare them in a second. First, this is Light Fest compared to Titania from Terra Moons and Flaming Gala from Glaminatrix. 
you can see these are pretty damn similar. I don't think you need the three of these. But if you've been looking for these tones, then Light Fest is a pretty good shade, very shifty. It's good. Next, this is Duke compared to Mural from Cleona. These two have very similar bases, but the key difference is on the first shift, because you can see Duke is pinkier while Mural is a bit of an orange. The second shift is also very similar, but that first upfront shift, it's what it's setting them both apart from each other. Very similar, but not the same. Next is Orchard with Duke and La Lune from Terramoons. As you can see, those two are very, very similar. I don't think you need both. You could just use a darker base with Duke. Next, this is Goblet compared to Undeniably Pink from Touch of Glam. It's a very similar idea, the shifts are very similar, but the particle size in the undeniably pink is a bit larger and sparser. Next, this is Line of Queens compared to Helix Nebula from Terra Moons and Bloodline from Cleona themselves. This shade is very unique to my collection, I couldn't find anything that could really be compared to it, so I'm very happy with it. Next, this is Rosirium compared to the 13th from Touch of Glam. This is the only shade that came to mind looking at this one. I don't think I have a tone that is quite as red as Rosirium, but the tone does seem familiar, so I don't know if I'm thinking of Saffron or I'm forgetting about a shade of mine. Next, this is gonna be Dynasty compared to Stencil and Once in a Lifetime from Touch of Glam. As you can see, stencil is quite similar, but not like totally similar. Once in a lifetime is very different because the texture is much chunkier and also the base of Dynasty is like a teal while the other two are more like an indigo, I would say. So yeah, this shade is not something that I have already, I think. Next, I've got Sculptured compared to Royal Plum and Glamorous. And yeah, Sculpture is very, very close to Royal Plum, I would say. The big difference with this one is that Sculpture goes more green while Royal Plum shifts more blue. And Sculpture is a bit more reflective than Royal Plum. Next, this one's the one that I was the most curious about. It's Mer with Prism from JD Glow. So Sweet from Shine by SD and UB from Cleona themselves. None of these really compare. Next is gonna be Sterling compared to Barra City from Yeti Glow, Have Mercy from Touch of Clan, and Shalak Empress from Pretties for Your Face. None of these are the same, but Bar City comes close. Next, this is Bolt compared to Carving from Cleona. These two look very, very similar. When I saw Bolt, I was like, are they just releasing carving again? And I can see there's a difference with the base, I would say. Bolt also has a more vivid uh, shift, I would say. But there's something about carving that makes it have a base. And as you can see, it kind of skips because it's not an actual base. It's like the particles themselves have that base. I don't know how to describe it. And last but not least, here's Happy Accident compared to Royal, to Regal, and Moontide. Moontide is the only one from Terra Moons. All the others are from Cleona themselves. And as you can see, it's a very similar vibe, but it does have a difference. Happy Accident number two is like the muted version of Regal, I would say. So yeah, that concludes the comparisons. Now let's just get to swatch them all together to see them. The first was Light Fest, second is Duke, third is going to be Orchard, and as you can see, those three just pick one to maximum because they're so similar. Then here's Goblet, next is gonna be Line of Queens, very, very pretty. Then this is Rosarium, followed by Dynasty. Next to it, I'm going to place Sculpture here. If it had a teal base, it could fit with the others. Then it's gonna be happy accident number two. Mirror. Sterling. And lastly, this is Bolt. 
I didn't place them in any particular order. I liked all of this. I would have liked the top three to be a bit more different from one another. But you know, you don't have to get them all. I got the bundle. I knew what I was getting into. And actually, seeing their swatches on darker skin tones, I can see there's more difference between those. So maybe that's just a skin tone thing. I don't know. But yeah, those are my thoughts on this bundle. Let me know what you think. Did you like them? Which one is your favorite? The one that I like the most right now is going to be Mer because it's so unique to my collection. I couldn't find something as blue as that. Then I think I like Sterling actually because it's so unique for Leona. Vault is also very pretty. Even though it looks a lot like carving, I can see a difference there. Honestly, I like all of these, okay? Those three are just the ones that came to my mind right now. But there's not a shading here that I go, oh, I don't like this one, you know? There's just some shades in here that I go, oh, I already have something very similar. But that's just because of my very, very large collection. So yeah, that'll be all for me for now. Let me know if this was useful, if you liked this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.